Hello children. Today, before starting the chapter, I would like to ask some questions. What do you do when your pencil becomes too small to write? What we do? We throw it away. When the ink of our pen finishes, then what do we do? We change our refill. And what do we do with the old refill then? When you eat an orange, what happens to the peel? What we do? We just throw it into the dustbin because it is of no use for us anymore. So all these materials which are of no further use or we, which we cannot use and they are thrown away, these materials, these are known as waste or garbage. Now, this waste or garbage needs to be properly managed or else we will face or we are facing the situation in this picture what you can see it is a site of a beach which is mostly or entirely covered with the plastic waste and this plastic waste is if is very dangerous for the aquatic life for humankind as well now today we are going to discuss about various aspects of garbage how we can manage the garbage properly so that it do not create any problem. So, what is garbage? The materials which are of no further use or which we cannot use any further is known as garbage or waste. All the kind of garbage present around us, it can be categorized into two categories. Now, these categories are biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So the basis of categorization is very simple. The waste material which can be acted upon by the microorganisms. Now what are these microorganisms? The minute organisms which can eat the waste materials and convert it into manure for the soil. So these are the microorganisms. So the waste material which can be degraded by these microorganisms, it is called biodegradable. Now, which kind of waste material can come in biodegradable waste? The biodegradable waste includes vegetable peels, tea leaves, dried leaves, paper bread, etc. Now, all those other waste materials which cannot be degraded by these microorganisms like bacteria and fungi for a long period of time and they remain as such. So, if they remain as such, they get accumulated over each other. So these are known as non-biodegradable waste, the examples being polythene bag, plastic pencil box, etc., metal cans. So nowadays the main problem we are facing is with non-biodegradable waste because for let's take the example of plastic, it takes 100 or 400 years to decompose completely. So here we can see uh, biodegradable versus non-biodegradable. So what things come under biodegradable? Peels of vegetables and fruits, paper, wood, these all wastes, these are biodegradable. And the non-biodegradable include plastic bottle, plastic bags, plastic bottles, glass bottles and cans. Now, how do we manage this biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste? So, for that, first of all, we need to have two different kind of dustbin. You must have often seen these kind of dustbins there. At your home also, you need to keep two different types of dustbin. One green, other blue. Now why so? In the green dustbin, you need to put the biodegradable waste. And in the blue one, you will put the non-biodegradable waste. Now it will, meet the e it will make the segregation between these two materials easy. Now why am I saying this? Ki why do we need to segregate or separate both these kind of waste? Because we can manage them properly. Now, what happens in that case, landfill, what happens to the garbage that is being taken away from our home? Like suppose you have made two dustbins in your home, one in the green color and the other one is the blue color. So what you will do? In the green color dustbin, you will be putting all your kitchen waste and the waste which can be biodegraded. So what you can do, you can manage it on your own as well. Like suppose you are having your kitchen garden, so you can make small, small pets and you can just... Uh, keep or you can just uh, throw that garbage in those pits and cover it with soil. So after some time that waste will be converted into manure. Now coming back to the non-degradable, you can throw it in the 
डस्टबिन्स एंड देन द सफाई कर्मचारी और द पीपल हु कैरी दीज वेस्ट मटीरियल्स इन द ट्रक्स एंड थ्रो इट एट प्लेस दे विल टेक इट अवे सो नाउ द वेस्ट फ्रॉम आर होम वेर डज इट गो इट गोज टू द एरियाज इट इज बींग टेकन इन द ट्रक्स इट टू द एरियाज ओपन एरियाज विच आर कॉल लैंड फिल्स दीज आर एक्चुअली द लो लाइंग एरियाज वट हैपन्स एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन एवर द गार्बेज इज टेकन टू द लैंड फिल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज सेग्रीगेटेड द नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल एंड बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट आर सेग्रीगेटेड सो द बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट विल बी यूज एंड द नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट दैट इज द प्लास्टिक इट विल बी कंप्रेस्ड tightly pressed and then it will be covered with a layer of soil after some time what happens when the landfill area gets covered it is converted into a park or any such activity and the building construction is not allowed in that particular area for about 20 years here you can see a landfill it is a low lying area and the garbage is spread over in that in some cities already we have discussed that cities and towns municipalities they just keep two kind of dustbins one is colored blue another is colored green then we have already discussed that that the blue bin is for the uh, materials like plastics metals and glasses and the green for collecting kitchen and other plant waste now there is one more problem that arises so these were the things that we have discussed which we should do now let us come to the point which we are doing you must have seen at times when uh, the farmers who are having a huge areas uh, or uh, uh, land holdings what they do when the crop harvesting is done they just uh, make a heap of the material remaining material of the plant and then just they set it on fire now what does what problem does it create it happens to be generating a lot of smoke and fog as a resultant of it the air becomes very much polluted it results in air pollution so instead of it the waste should be properly managed how can we manage the waste so the one uh, uh, thing what we can do to manage the waste is composting now what is composting composting means the degradation of garbage by the action of microorganism we have already discussed the microorganisms are there which eat these garbage material and then they convert it into manure for the soil so it's become good for the crop see it was a garbage for us but it acts as a manure for the soil or the plants it can be done the composting it can be done at homes in parks in fields what happens when uh, as we have discussed that when the crop residue or leaves or dried leaves are there instead of just burning them up what we can do why what happens in the, to these things they just generate a lot of thick smoke it causes pollution and also there is one more thing that whenever we burn something on a particular piece of land what happens the land of that particular land also becomes unfit for the growth of plants so what we can do instead of burning it we should make a compost out of it now one such method of making compost is called vermi composting what is vermi composting actually when the composting is carried out by earthworms or these earthworms are also called as red worms we call it vermi composting now we have already discussed about this in our previous chapters that earthworm what does it do it makes its way through the soil or we have in proper words we can say it eats its way through the soil so earthworm what do they do they eat the biodegradable waste and then they convert into manure and one special thing about earthworm here is that that each worm it can eat food equal to its body weight in a day vermi composting it is done in large scale in fields because it is cheap and easy method to obtain manure and at the same time it helps in getting rid of biodegradable waste you can see here in the image the red worms next one is why should we recycle paper so you must have seen about paper what do you need to know about paper that the paper is made from the pulp of trees and what do we do you must have done this what what we do whenever uh, suppose uh, i have made you write something on the piece of paper or you were writing on your own so what do you do when you see that it is not working in a proper way what do you do if you do by mistake you do anything wrong what do you just tear the page apart so we must understand that the paper which we are just throwing it away it is made from trees and the trees 
they give us life they give us oxygen so majority of trees are being cut down for making paper so what we can do on our part that we must use the paper judiciously in a proper way and we must use recycled paper now why should i do this because the recycling of paper again it saves trees okay 90% paper is made from wood only recycling one ton of paper it can save 10 trees sorry 17 trees one third of trees which are cut are used to make paper and for every one ton of newspaper recycled you can save enough energy to power a television for 31 hours so see how much benefits are there you know what's the meaning of recycling recycling means the using of anything again and making it into a such a situation or condition which can be used again you must have used a recycled paper it is slightly not bright as white color as a new notebook but it is it can be used you must have seen the rough notebooks which come in slightly blackish color so how beautiful they are just use them for your rough notebook and just promote recycling next topic is plastics boon or curse now very well said because nowadays we cannot imagine our life without plastic why i am saying this because it's very easily available it is easy to manufacture and it has become important parts of life we cannot just imagine our life without it like for example let us take the um, articles in our home itself combs brushes switches bags watches all these things they are made from plastics only and you can add more, even more things to it so these are the benefits of plastic that we they are used in many things but there is a major drawback of using plastic and that is it does not decompose easily it remains there for like up to 400 years it takes 400 years to decompose completely so that is why only the plastic waste is such a major threat to our environment so as we have seen that it has become an integral part of life now so we cannot just throw it away but still we can do or we there are some steps which we can perform like what are these reuse as many things as possible like suppose you are having a polythene bag so now you can reuse many times to avoid buying one more polythene bag end next carry paper or cloth bags it is being advised that whenever you go out for buying grocery or vegetables or fruits we must carry our paper or cloth bag then we should never burn plastic because it generates lots of harmful gases which are bad for our also it causes air pollution we should not use polythene bags for throwing garbage as it does not decompose easily we should not throw polythene bags and garbage why because many of the times you must have seen the stray cows and buffaloes they are they end up eating those plastic things also because what we do we just cover the food materials whatever we need to throw and, and not food material or the garbage thing what we do we cover it in the plastic bags and we throw it in the dustbin so those cows and buffaloes they end up eating that plastic itself and we should use the recycled plastic bags but take care to keep food in the recycled bags and we should make our family and neighbors aware of the harmful effects of using plastics now before we finish this chapter let us understand the concept of four r's the four r's means reuse reduce recycle and respect so these four r's these itself gives us a sim important suggestion of how should we manage waste number one is reuse reuse as many things as possible reuse the paper reuse the plastics because it will lead to the less generation of waste reduce the use of non biodegradability so you can just carry cloth bag paper bag whenever necessary instead of buying a polythene bag recycle all the man made materials and most importantly is respect the nature and its resources to live a healthy and prosperous life so what we have discussed so far in this chapter today that the waste they can be divided into three categories and how do we need to manage them properly the biodegradable waste needs to go down in pits and gets converted into compost the non-biodegradable waste needs to be used a little more less 
and it should be managed properly it should it should be reused and recycled that's all for the day children thank you so much